Welcome back to our coverage of Steve Prohm's introductory press conference. Here's the new basketball coach at Iowa State. We're visiting with Cyclone senior Jamil McKay. And uh, Jamil, what were your impressions when you got a chance to meet with the coach last night? Um, just uh, how good of a person he is. <clears throat> he talked a lot about it being a player's uh, first uh, program and just how he care, um, care about all his players. And just um, about the good um, responses that you get from his former players on how good of a person he is and how much of a player's coach he is. That was a, um, left a great impression on all of us. You hear Jamie Pollard talk about the fit, and it feels like he's a good fit with you guys, kind of like Fred was. Yeah, I mean, you could just look at his statistics from his past teams. They play fast just like we play. And he's like he's um, told us yesterday, he um, watched a lot of our games and learned a lot from Coach Hoiberg. So it shouldn't be that hard of a transition basketball-wise. How uh, tough were these last couple of weeks for you guys, Jamil? And how did you stay together as a team? That was the thing that I think impressed everybody was just that you guys stuck together through the whole deal. Um, it was honestly, it was pretty easy. I mean, we always had each other, and w whenever we had in doubt of questions or anything, we could always reach out to Coach Hoiberg. He kept, he did a great job of just keeping us in the loop and just always responded to us and never leaving us wondering. So we, what was rumors to everybody else, we all knew the truth. Congratulations on uh, having a new coach and excited about your senior year. Thanks for taking some time. All right, thank you. All right, Jamil McKay, our guest. We continue on with our coverage of Steve Prohm's initial press conference here at Iowa State, and we visit now with Cyclone senior George Niang. And George, what was uh, your thoughts as a team as you, you met with Coach Prohm last night for the first time? Uh, what was the initial impression that he left? Yeah, I, I think going in, a little of us were a little bit uncertain. Obviously, we trusted Jamie Pollard and President Lee to make a great decision, and I think they did. Uh, I think meeting him, you can just tell by the look in his eyes and the way he talks that he's real passionate about what he believes in. And when he told us that he believed in us, and I think he said a couple of times during his press conferences, maximizing the day. And I think that's the biggest thing for us. You know, we're not going to be great overnight, you know, in one certain thing. Um, but, you know, each day we can get better together. And I think he's a, a great family man and I think his passion uh, for us is just off the charts and I think that excited all of us. One thing that stood out to me is that he kept saying it's your guys team it's not his team it's you guys it's your team he wants you to have ownership of it and it sounds like he's a guy that's not a big ego guy uh, much like Fred in that regard and really wants you guys to take ownership of the team? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing that he's been preaching is accountability. He's just there to, to steer us in the right path when we're getting off the beaten path. Uh, just hold us accountable. And I think that's huge at this point. Uh, I feel like we don't need any, He's like he said, he doesn't want to come in and reinvent the wheel. He just wants to push us, push us to our full potential. And like I said before, just maximize each day and become better um, as a whole unit. Now, how do you think your style of play will fit into what he does? I know it's kind of early, but, uh, you know, I don't know if he's ever had a stretch four that also yeah. is a point guard in, in, in his head. Uh, you, you've got a, a lot of different skills. Yeah. How do you think he'll put you to, to use? Uh, you know, I, I think uh, we'll sit down later and we'll talk about that. But uh, the way the style of play, I, I feel like I, I'd try to fit into anything that he's trying to do. Um, he's a successful person. He's been a winner everywhere he's been. So, obviously, I'm, I'm willing to – tweak the things that I do to, to make the team better and, and really become a, a better overall player. So I'm sure there's a ton of stuff I can learn from him, and I'm excited to learn from what he's got because he, he just seems to be a great person, a great leader, and a, a winner. George, thanks, and uh, can't wait for next season. Yeah, me too. Thank All you. Right. George Niang, our guest. We're going to visit momentarily here with Steve Prohm and also with Jamie Pollard. So stay with us on Cyclones.tv. Go back to our coverage of Steve Prohm's press conference at Iowa State as he's introduced as the 20th Cyclone head coach. We're visiting now with Cyclone senior Naz Long. And Naz, just tell us a little bit about what your first thoughts were when you got an opportunity to meet him last night and uh, how he came across to you guys. Oh man, it was it was it was refreshing. Um, coming into the room, a lot of us were nervous, including myself. I might have been one of the most nervous ones in there, and you could clearly see that on my face. And uh, you know, you just came in there and kept emphasizing family. Um, just kept kept emphasizing the fact that we had four seniors, and he's going to need us um, for leadership. And he just wanted to be the one to, to steer the ship and get in there when 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 we needed him. And uh, you know, that was a great feeling. It feels awesome to finally have a, a new head coach, and uh, I definitely think Coach Prime is going to be be the guy for the job. Sounds like his uh, style of play fits really in well with what you guys had already been using and been successful with. That has to make you feel comfortable too. Oh, it definitely does, um, especially when he was naming the guys on his roster and uh, the fact that he recruited very similar to us. I mean, shoot, it, it couldn't be more identical. Um, you know, it definitely gave me a sigh of relief um, because, you know, that team is an extended version of us, I feel. And, uh, you know, he's going to know what to do with us. He, he knows that we need to get deep to the corner. That's another thing that was huge on, uh, spacing and, you know, getting from A to B. That's how we play. That's, uh, you know, that's Cyclone basketball, and it's, I think it's going to be a special thing. 
You know, you've seen yourself grow as a person since you've come to Iowa State. Your teammates, you've seen them grow. It sounds like that's a part of the game that's really important to him. He wants to see you guys grow as people too, not just as basketball players. Uh, that that has to make you feel good. Yeah, um, you know, especially when he was talking about working with, uh, you know, his 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 uh, mentor for 12 years. You know, he just said uh, not only did he become a better coach, he became a better man. And uh, you know, that's something that I'm looking to looking to do. Um, I, I know I still have room to grow, and I feel like he's definitely a man that can help me with a lot of things. He was talking about family, you know, faith and, and stuff like that. Uh, those are some areas, you know, that I, that I'm big on, and I think it's going to be awesome to just sit down with him. You know, watch the the game three tonight and stuff like that. He just seems like an awesome guy. All right, Naz, good luck next year. Can't wait for the season to get here. Thank you, John. Right. Appreciate it. Nazareth Mitru Long, our guest, as the Cyclones get ready to uh, take ownership under this new head coach, Steve Prome. We're going to come back and visit with Steve, also with Jamie Pollard, shortly.